Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, I have a Stampin' Up! haul to share with y'all. So, um, a lot of y'all know that my friend Kim is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And so she is who I order from. And I go to her monthly card club. We make cards and um, yeah. So I'm going to share with you what I picked up this, this month. So this is stuff that I ordered in March. And um, <laughs> basically everything I ordered... I had pretty much no desire to order and yeah because you know, you look at stuff in the catalog and you're like yeah yeah okay whatever well then you start using it and you're like oh my gosh some of y'all know I am a huge fan of like um like Sweden or um I want to say Swedish uh folk art but y'all know what I'm like, the, 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 doll, the mandala horse or the dollar, doll, doll. Susan, if you're watching, please, please correct me. Susan is in Sweden um, and she follows the channel. I follow her. She's really a wonderful lady, really fun. Um, and she does have a channel. So I'll put her link down in the description. If I, I'm going to try and remember. If I forget to at the end and the video post, please comment so I can add her link to her channel back in the description because she's so fun and I adore her. Um, but anyway, some of the cards we made were really lent towards that design. And so I went shopping. Anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding that bell next door if you want to get notifications of my future videos. Thumbs up, likes, always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So, um, I think we'll start with the paper. Um, this is not so fun. This is just basic cardstock. Um, and I got these to go with the pattern paper I'm going to share shortly. And again, both... The two styles of pattern paper I'm going to share with you, I had no desire to order it by looking at it in the catalog. Um, none. And I don't own a lot of tonic or uh, Stampin' Up! Car card stock because y'all know I really love textured card stock and theirs is smooth. It's all smooth. But anyway, I got the Calypso Coral and I got the Knight of Navy. Now I'm probably going to order a lot more of both of these because these are colors that I will use. I do have the inks to both of them so another reason why I'll probably order them. Uh, and there were two other colors but my order was already big enough that I decided to hold back. But some of the cards we made, um, I should have brought them up but I didn't. I should have. That way I could share with you. Um, I'll do that in another video. I'll do that next month. I'll share with you the cards we've made for the past couple months. Anywho. So I got those to go with this set. And I got two of these because it was so pretty. And this is called Sweet Symmetry Designer Series Paper. Um, Y'all know that when I go to put it away... They will come out of this plastic garbage because I store all of my 12 by 12 paper in album sleeves. So if you, if you still collect records or listen to vinyl like I do, um, all of my records go into the whole thing. The whole album goes into a vinyl sleeve so that the outer album is protected. And it's a really good vinyl, um protector and they're perfect for your 12 by 12 card stock. I highly recommend it. I do keep a description, a link down in my description. It is an affiliate link with Amazon. Um, so if you click it, there is a small commission, but it's nothing addition to y'all. It's just, you know, whatever, but I use them and I love them. I've shared them with you guys in the past, showed them to you, but anywho, let's get into here and see the pretty, pretty paper. There's another DSP that um, I got because when I was in the catalog, the catalog does both of these two no justice whatsoever. Well, gosh darn it. And the other one, like in the catalog, I just thought it was hideous. <laughs> 
until we used it. And then I was just like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. And it's very different than my normal, uh, what I would normally use. But it is stunning. So anyway, I believe you get two of each. So you've got this pretty side. Then you've just got some, this is kind of your, like your leaf background. And then look at these. Are these not gorgeous or what? Love this blue on blue, tone on tone. And then look at this. Absolutely love this. This t it isn't exactly like, but um, really does lend itself towards the Nordic um, folk art look when you get to using it. Huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, here we go. All right, so we got that. Look at this. I just love how this yellow and blue pop. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you have like this mustardy color. I, I don't know the Stampin' Up! colors, so forgive me. Um, I used to be a different rep, but you know, I, I left. I... <sighs> I'm telling you, this is just a gorgeous paper. I'm so glad I ordered two of these. I'll probably order one more of these because this is, I don't do lots of floral, but this is stuff that I would use. I just, absolutely beautiful. We got that one. And then we have that. So. That is, what did we say this was? Sweet Symmetry Des D Designer Series Paper. So Sweet Symmetry DSP. I think this is eleven fifty. I think. So I got two of those. Then, this one, like I said, is not something... Um, this is called Symbols of Fortune. It has a very um, Asian feel to it. Y'all know I love gold foiling. Um, when paper comes with this chipboard on the back, I keep it because you can use this for projects. So anyway, I think this is, yeah, two, two of each. And I think there's four designs I think we'll see anyway you have this I don't know what these are somebody please tell me so there's that then you have these I think they're herons really pretty This is gorgeous. I, I think this is one of my favorites in here. Um, and I'm not a butterfly person, and y'all know that. Then we have this um, distress look with the gold foiling. And then the back side of that. Gorgeous! I don't know what that is, that flower is, or leaf. But if you know, please tell me. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have... So I guess it's six designs. And then more of... Just beautiful. My hands are dry, sorry. Got that. And then this is bamboo, I believe. So, again, this is called um, Fortune... Something Fortune. Lucky Fortune. Symbols of Fortune. So... 
absolutely gorgeous and I am probably gonna try to get one more of these one more of these and then there were two other cart there was another card we made with two other colors I'm gonna get those colors cardstock as well then I ordered more of the frosted bead assortment to go with that the Stampin' Up! one I ordered last month, you know, for the bubblegum machine. So I got, I, I actually ordered two of those, but uh, Kim said it came all busted up, so there's another one coming. So I'll probably get that at uh, the next club, which is April 1st. Haha, <laughs> not a joke. And so thankful I ordered more of the gumball um, shaker domes. They sold out. So, um, I had ordered one set when I ordered the, the bubblegum machine bundle, and uh, I went ahead and snagged up two more of these, and they sold out, um, because I was actually going to order some more, but I think I can get, I think 30 gumballs is, gumball machines is good enough. Then... I ordered this set. It is called... Soaring Swallows. And I got the dies to go with it because I don't have my catalog with me right now. And this isn't looking at it. I wouldn't have ordered it. But the samples in the catalog are absolutely stunning. Um, especially when it's paper pieced with the dies. So you have the branch that they can sit on. You have the flowers to cut out that you can add to the branches. Then you have, I think it's two or three different swallows that you can, you can either stamp them and cut them out, or you can cut them out completely and then piece them together, which is what I plan on doing because it is just stunning. I think swallows are just gorgeous birds to begin with. So, um, and then you have this die here, which fits these two perfectly. So sending loving thoughts, you are meant to soar. Congratulations, best wishes, and thinking of you. Um, but I'm going to link Kim's uh, website in the description. When you go to her website, look this up and and see if you can see the samples because when you see the samples for this set it's it's like okay I'm done stick a fork in me give it to me I want it now it is just that the the birds are just gorgeous so anywho so I got that set and then the last thing I got I picked up, because they're on clearance, I think it was a dollar or something a piece. A dollar eighty a piece. And their new, um, their Stamparatus foam mats. Um, I do have the Stamparatus. But I didn't necessarily get this. I got one for the Stamparatus, but the other one I got to use. Um, if you don't have a stamping machine or a stamp platform... And you have an issue with solid images. Um, I have mentioned before, if you have a self a self a self healing mat that has the foam back, basically you know to keep it from sliding around, um, you can flip that over and use the foam side for when you're stamping. If you're using stamping from a block. Put that underneath the image, under the under the cardstock, and then you stamp. You're gonna, it's gonna have just enough little bit of give, and that makes sure that the stamp, the stamp makes full contact, and you get a much better and clearer stamped image. Especially if you're working with solid images. So like if you're doing like a, like you're stamping a balloon, not the outside, but like you want it colored a solid color. Y'all know it never fails when you go to stamp it. There always seems to be some blotch where the stamp didn't make contact with the paper. Either use the back of your self healing mat if it has this type of foam on the back, or 
um, like I, these were on clearance, like I said, for $1.80 a piece. So I bought two, one for the Stamparatus and one just to use with my blocks. So um, $1.80, I wasn't going to pass that up. Again, they, which I think is neat, they come so it doesn't get like um, damaged. It comes with this cardboard on both sides. I will save the cardboard and reuse it. So I'm going to check and see if it's still on the clearance. Um, when I go to place my next order, I'll probably order a few more of these just to have on hand. Um, but that's it. That is my Stampin' Up! order for March. Um, I don't know what I'm ordering in April. Every time I go, I think I'm going to order one thing and I end up changing <laughs> my order. Um, but uh, yeah. That's it. I am trying to record a bunch of videos back to back for you guys because I get busy during the week. And again, I'm usually in bed by 6.30, 7 o'clock every night. Because uh, I get up at around around 4 in the morning. So, anywho. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I am going to include Kim's link website down in the description. And my friend Susan in Sweden. Uh, I'm going to try to remember to get her link in the description as well with this one for y'all. Um, if you haven't already, go check her out. She... She's so fun. I, 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 she's just a ton of energy bumbled up, <laughs> bumbled, bundled up into this really cute, sweet lady. And I love her. So Susan, if you're watching, love you girl. Um, but yeah, when I, the cards we made just really lent towards a Nordic, um, folk artsy, um, vibe and that's what made me order these so anywho oh and, and I'm not affiliated I don't get any commission if you guys place an order with Kim um, now if I'm the hostess I let you guys know so if I am the hostess and you order I do get you know it goes towards my party credit but I'm not I'm not the hostess but uh, yeah with that love you guys to pieces have a great night as always happy crafting bye bye